All right, trying to be the internet is impossible. I wish I never peed on that server. You know, when my phone gets wet, I just put it in a bag of rice. Shut up, Meg. That's dumb. I've done that before. It works. <gasps> Chris, that's brilliant. We just need a big bag and a lot of rice. All right, time for Bethany Frankel, America's favorite chattering pirate skeleton. Dad! Dad, get off me! Get off me, Dad! Hey! Hey, get off my sister! Go fly a kite, bub. Ouch. You're going down, Meg. Lazy Shaver? That's right. This should be my Olympics. Shut up, Meg. No, you shut up, Meg. No, you shut up, Meg. Shut up, Meg. Wow, you're further in the book than I am. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll just go retrieve my hat. I get the last joke before the commercial? <gasps> wow, this is a first. Okay, okay. A priest, a rabbi, and a Frenchman walk into a bar. Family Guy will return after these messages. Last line! No, it isn't. <laughs> she can't be helped. Actually, Evan thinks I'm a natural and that I'm going to be a huge success. He thinks I could be a famous model. You famous? Oh, come on, Meg, your only chance at fame would have been as the dog on Frasier. Well, of course I respect my father. He's a vet. Woof. Not that kind of vet. <laughs> Go around the block again. She's still out front. We've gone around six times. Let's just talk to her. Yeah, you're right. Rip it off quick like a Band-Aid. Hey, Meg, you know Mr. Quagmire, right by? Hey, what's going on here? Oh, I'm selling my old Beanie Babies to make money for the prom. That seems optimistic. Uh, before I touch anything, is this a nut-free counter? I don't know. My dad's might have been on there this morning. Oh, hey, Meg. I saw you stomp that pigeon today with your bare foot. Pretty powerful stuff. Thanks. I don't like losing any part of my lunch. Look, I'd love to stay and talk, Neil, but I have homework and there was no toilet paper in the girls' bathroom. All right, see you later. Where are you off to? Actually, I met a photographer at Stewie's school yesterday, and he wants me to model for him. Lois, please send these back to the factory. I believe they're defective. Oh, my God, Peter, did you just rip your own ears off? It was the easiest way to let her know the news was ridiculous. 